Hi, welcome back to the second part of the cross beam exercise in Solid Edge ST10. Now I want to bring back my base 2. And then I could do a round, a surface plan between that stripe emboss and that surface. So let's switch to home, round, go for a surface blend, OK. Select maybe this one and that one. Go for three millimeter and the first arrow should point up and the second one should point outwards. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Great. Let's go to surfacing. I need to make another extrude with this one. And maybe 200 in that direction. And maybe 50 in the other direction. Finish. Cancel this out. Now I could do a face blend between those two. So go to home, round, go to another face bl surface blend right here. And this should be 50 millimeter. And let's see, I want to have this surface and that surface. It should be 50 millimeter. And the arrow. I think it should point in that direction and the other one should point down. Yeah, that's it. Preview, finish, cancel this out. And I could have done it a little bit different. So maybe I put those, not this, these into a new group and call this one Stripe emboss. So I need an offset surface, but I should have done this in that group. So I will do it in a different way. I will just hide that last round, show the offset base surface and make a new extrude and offset this one. Or I could have, of course, offset it that, that extrude. If I bring back this, no, this, that's wrong. Yeah, so I will do a new one. Doesn't matter, so go for surfacing, go for extruded, select this one, right click, make it should be possible if I go back to that extrude. So if I go back, so I'll switch it on and go to this extrude. Go to, where's go to? Go to that extrude. And now make an offset surface. So go for offset to this one. The complete body. Okay. And it should be 7 millimeters in that direction. So go for 7 in that direction, finish, cancel this out. Now let's go back to that round, go to, and hide and bring back my offset. That's the base and where is my, that's the offset. Let's make this in a green color. View Hot painter, make this one that offset green as well. Close. Now I could hide that round and make a round here. So go for a round between surface blend between this surface and that surface. Radius should be 50 minus 7, that's uh, 8. And this should point in that direction, this should point down. And preview, finish, 
cancel this out. So that should be right now the offset surface, the offset base. That's the base and that's the offset base. So rename this one to offset base. And right now this would be the base at the moment. And that would be base one, two, three. And make this offset base three. And I should have done this at that point of the construction. So, okay, now that's the base. Yeah, offset and make this in a different color again. So go for view, part painter. Now make this maybe orange or red, tan, teal. Let's go for teal, looks, looks nice. So this would be the teal one. Okay, so we can make a difference. Great. Let's close that group here. So I need to make an extrude with that line here. Therefore I will need, of course, a sketch because I can't extrude that line on its own. So I will, let's take a look maybe, just maybe, because it, I could use that plane, that would do. So go for home sketch on the XY plane on this plane and let's project Let's project, let's hide those two. I want to project that line. So go to project and I want to, yes, want to project, let's, this line into my sketch. Confirm, close that sketch. And now I could make an extrude. Let's move here with that one finish cancel this out now go for surfacing make an extruded one with this one not with this one where was the sketch here's the sketch so to select this one <laughs> confirm and make it make it maybe 250 finish cancel this out that should do yes now I can make another extrude with that one and that could be symmetric and make it 200, finish, cancel this out. Now I want to make, therefore, okay, I should round those edges so go for round make it maybe five millimeter on this one this one that one this one that one confirm preview finish cancel this out and now let's go for the face blend Okay, between this one that should go up and that one that should go to the inside. 
So make it maybe three millimeters. First one should go up and the other one should point in that direction. And preview, finish, cancel this out. Great. Now I need that offset base and I will need it two times. That's the point. So let's go for another surface blend. Go for round, surface blend, okay. And let's use this surface, which should go up, and that surface, which should go to the inside. Yeah, make it three millimeters. First one should go up, second one should go to the inside. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Now let's bring back our base. And now I need a surface blend between those two. And the problem might be the radius or the arrow directions. So let's see. I want to have a round Jupiter surface blend. Okay. And it should be I could try it. That's really amazing. Somehow I fixed it. <laughs> so let's rotate. And maybe it's better visible over here. So I need a round. And the chip is surface blend, okay. And it should be between this surface and that surface. Okay. Not five, but let's go for two millimeter. And the arrows, I think each, the first one should point in this direction. And the other one should point to, that's hard to see in, that, no, in that direction. Nope, that's wrong. So go back to this one. First one in this one. Second one in, I think to the outside. Yes, that's it. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Sort of hard work. Okay, now let's put these into a group and call this to the teeth emboss. So maybe just maybe put those into another group. That would be sort of a base surface three group. Okay, rename and call it base surface three. Now for that small emboss, I will have to make an extrude with this one and with that line. So if those two, they seem to be on the same plane. So I could do a plane between those two, or I could do it, of course, with a new plane. So let's see if we can have a new plane with two lines by three points. That would work. Okay, so go by three points and select 
one point, second point, third point. Now I need a sketch on that plane. Let's go for a sketch right there. And I want to project this. Is it that one or? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, confirm, close that sketch. Now I could make finish and extrude, cancel this out, go for surfacing, extrude it with that one, right click and make it not symmetric but in this direction maybe 180 and in the yeah and in this direction maybe 30 that should do now another extruded one with that finish with that chain, yes, and this should go in that direction, maybe, maybe I could go for symmetry, because it doesn't really matter, no, that's too big, so we'll go for, in that direction, maybe one, maybe 80, And in the other direction, maybe 50. Confirm, finish, cancel this out. Now I need, let's just hide that one. That would be base, that would be this one, I suppose, yes. Go for home round between this surface and surface blend between this one and that one maybe let's go for five millimeters yes and the first one should point in that direction and the second one to the inside like that preview finish cancel this out And that would be the small emboss somehow. So make it a new group, make it, no, that's wrong. Don't want to switch to synchronous. I want to make it a group, group. And call this group small emboss. So in order to proceed, I need a copy of that offset base 3. So if I go to this one, just go to, that's the offset base here, down below, that's the offset base, and I need a copy of this one. So what I want to do is, I want to do an offset of that one, that's kind of quick and dirty of that body that would be this body that one and the offset should be zero finish cancel this out so we got another offset base here that's a copy let's rename this one and that would be an offset base 3 copy And I can use this one for my small emboss. So let's go here and make it the active feature. Go to the small emboss. And now I can use that offset base to make this one work. So go there to that round. Okay. 
and hide the tooth emboss like this and now make a surface blend between those two so home round another surface blend okay between maybe this surface and that surface make it three millimeter and now first one should point in this direction second one should point up like that preview finish cancel this out now bring back the tooth emboss and make another surface blend between those two so this should go inside that group and I need another round a surface blend okay and between this surface and that surface maybe go for two millimeter just in case now the arrows the first should go probably down and the second should point to the outside yes preview finish cancel this out and i'm done at least up to this point again you need one extrude here and one extrude there make a fillet and then you're done so maybe hide the curves and hide that projected one okay I will leave the rest up to you maybe I just will mirror it so go for mirror copy part that's the part to copy and the coincident plane the mirror plane should be the exact plane I suppose yes finish cancel this out So, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cafe page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.